everyone, I'm going to show you how to complete the Design Abilities Self-Assessment Sheet. It's going to be the same process after every unit, so this is really the only time you would need to watch this video. Um, the process itself is the same, okay? So after every unit we will complete this and turn it in. And you will always work on the same spreadsheet because when you click on this assignment, you're going to get a spreadsheet that looks like this, and it'll have your name on it, okay? So because we just finished unit one, you only need to work in column D, okay? We have unit two, unit three, unit four, and then the final here. You do not need to fill these out until you complete those units, all right? Um, so on your sheet, you have this main page. This is the page you're gonna you're gonna um, edit and type into, and then we have the rubric, which is like a fully um, full explanation of all of these abilities um, that we work in work on in class and all of the levels. Okay, so it's like at a glance all of the levels. You don't need to do anything on this page. This is just a resource. And then there's the help page. And the help page is kind of a review of what I'm going to go through right now. It has like the link to the feedback loop form and it has um, some tips of how to format your sheet if you need it. Okay. So honestly, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only you know, challenge is to really base your self-assessment in the evidence of your work. And by that, I mean, you need to look at these abilities and think about how has your work um, shown evidence of your abilities in these categor categories, okay? So the first category is communication. And that has to do with storytelling, specifically using your digital portfolio to tell the story of your work. And then the other part of that category is exchanging information and ideas. And that's really all about, you know, speaking in class, speaking up in your cohorts, being a leader, um, asking questions when you're stuck, all of that. And then the second category is mindsets. These are just ways of thinking. And so divergent thinking, you know, making an effort to think outside the box and cultural awareness, which we really got into for the eating tools workshop. And then we have the design thinking process. These are the stages we use to complete our workshops and projects. Okay. And so there's little descriptions for those. Um, so for each ability, there is a drop down menu and you want to read over these levels for each category. So for storytelling, um, thinking, understanding, applying and exploring, those are the levels and they have specific descriptions of each of those levels for you. So you want to read over those carefully and then select the one that most aligns to your work in storytelling and using your digital portfolio, okay? And then you wanna go ahead and go to the next one, exchanging information and ideas. And these descriptions, the levels are the same for everything, right? Thinking, understanding, applying, and exploring, but the definition is different because it's a different um, ability, okay? So you wanna select those two. The same for divergent thinking and cultural awareness, okay? And again, thinking is the lowest category. Um, it's like a very beginner's mindset. You're just getting used to the class. Maybe you don't have a lot of work to show. And exploring is work that I would use as an exemplar, okay? So this is a super high level. You, in this unit, or even unit two, you may not even be in a, applying or exploring yet. Um, I'll leave that up to you, but don't worry because your grade is not tied to the levels. You are getting a completion grade for filling this out, okay? 
So when you get to the design thinking process, it's a little different because I'm not asking you to select a level for each of these um, stages of the design thinking process. I'm asking you to select, okay, which stage do you feel like you are strongest in? Do you feel like you're strongest in, you know, defining the problem or coming up with ideas? Or do you feel like you're strongest in prototyping? You know, what is it? So you would select whatever stage you feel is a strength of yours, okay? And then here, when it's purple text, you're going to explain. So I'd like a couple sentences explaining. And then the second question asks the opposite. Which stage do you feel like you have the most room to grow? So what is your weakest stage at this point? And then explain that. And then the last question is, what's your plan? Like, how do you think you can improve in the whole design thinking process? And that's it, okay? So you're gonna just finish column D. And again, really pay attention to the descriptions for the drop down menus because I wrote them specifically to correlate to these abilities. All right. So when you're done, just turn it in on classroom.